Hey, what's up, everybody? Fred Minnick here, and I'm about to review this guy right here. Ooh, look at that. King of Kentucky, 18-year-old. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, didn't you just say in your review previously that you didn't get any of the 18-year-old, that there's only 250 bottles, and it's like 350 bucks if you can find it, which, by the way, you're not going to be able to. Didn't you just say that on a previous review, Fred, that uh, you're not going to be able to get that one, you're not going to be able to review it? Yes. Yes, I did. But I did what any good whiskey taster would do, I called up all my friends and I found out who happened to have gotten a bottle. As it turns out, they do these, so they do these like uh, press events, right? And um, they're, they invited, I was invited, couldn't go. And so somebody I work with uh, went in my place. Kevin Gibson, my boy, Kevin Gibson went. And I was, uh, I think I was on vacation. I think I was in St. Lucia. I don't remember where I was, but I didn't go. Yeah, anyway, so they did the tasting, and on, on, as they were walking out, they gave them little samples of the 18-year. Only 10 media samples uh, were given out, period. To That's what they said, anyway. And so I was like, man, you know, I knew I had to start calling up people. And so, sure enough, I was able to bum, uh, I say it like I, I was like getting cigarettes, right? I was able to bum a pour. So I got a little bit of pour right here out of a sample bottle. And uh, so I am going to be able to review it. How do you like that? Now, I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, uh, why even review it? Why even taste it? You know, you know, I'm not going to be able to find it. Well, I'm not going to be able to find it. I mean, hell, I had to beg, borrow, and, you know, this is going to cost me later on, by the way. Um, and, I, you know... I guess the only thing to really say is, like, why am I tasting this when no one will really be able to find it? It's only with 250 bottles is sometimes the stuff doesn't taste as good as the hype says it is. And, like, I said last time on uh, the the 15-year the, uh, King Kentucky, I thought it was too hot. Is that going to be the case here? I mean, I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. And that is to uh, get in there and taste this. Now, like I said, this 18-year expression is only in the Kentucky market. It is coming in um, at a whopping uh, 130.3 proof. Now, here are the tasting notes from the distillery. I never do this. I never read these, but I'm going to because... We'll see if they match up. Rich molasses, which I always get molasses with these. Molasses, dark caramel, aged honeycomb, and brightened with hints of tea leaf and ripe tree fruit. Uh, flavor is uh, baked spice, tree fruit, molasses, and sharp dark tea. That's what uh, the tasting notes are there. And, you know, that doesn't that doesn't fall off too far uh, from when uh, from my, my typical King of Kentucky notes. But I had the press release pulled up. I'm like, oh, what the hell? I'll read these. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pour this. I'm going to save myself a little bit. Actually, I'll save this for Jacqueline. She's had uh, she's had a lot of cool stuff happening lately. So I want to give her that as a present. So, Husband of the Year nominee. Not going to quit my day job, no. Okay, so. going to. Oh, my God. Dang, that smells so good. That molasses note is strong. Really strong. Oh, good Lord. But that... It's uh, molasses caramel, like butter, toffee. Oh, what else is in there? Mm, damn. That is nice. But that uh, molasses note that they had in their description is exactly what I have. It's uh, very powerful with molasses. Palette. Now, the 15-year, I noted that it was too hot, that the alcohol uh, really overpowered the flavors. 
but with a little bit of water, it opened up and was much better. Although that this is like a net 130 proof point as well. I don't find this to be too hot. I find this to be quite yummy, just as it is. Mm. Mm. That's like butter. That's like that's like butter just kind of dripping on down the jaw lines. There's a note of like some there's honey in here. There's banana nut bread. Um, there's some kind of fruit. I can't put my finger on it, but I want to say maybe maybe like a cooked like a cooked cherry like inside of bread. Like you take a bite of bread and there's a cooked cherry in there. Oh, you know what? It's the uh, it's the fruit cake. You know that that kind of maraschino like you know, cook cherry in the, uh, in that fruit cake. Uh, there's some almond notes in this as well. The one thing I will say about this, and it's still lingering on the finish is it is, it is not, uh, tasting like 130 proof. This tastes like it is a hundred proof, 107 proof. And the alcohol is not overwhelming. It is not, Hell, you can barely even tell it's cash drink. I mean, but this is like, it's like butter. Mm. So as I tell you that this bourbon that you cannot get, and this will be the last drops I ever see, um, is out of this world good. You can hate on me for that. I'm going to hate on myself for it. But damn. This is great whiskey. Uh, and this is like two or three times better than the other release, the 15-year-old. And that sounds crazy for me to say uh, because the other one, it was fine. But you added water with it. It was very good. This one straight into the glass on the palate is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I find this, I find this 18-year to be delicious. Now, will you be able to find a taste? I hope you are able to. I hope you can go into a market and find it on the bar at a very affordable price, which you probably won't. Um, and uh, I do apologize in advance for, you know, getting your mouth all salivating if if that is what is happening, knowing that you won't get one. So I apologize for that. But if you can get someone else to buy it or if you can find a friend to bum uh, a little pour off of, uh, and hell, if you are outside my office door right now as I was recording and you knocked on it, I would I would give you a, a taste of it. I would. In fact, I'm going to text a friend, um, tell him to come over. If he's around, I'll tell him to come over. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to do a little uh, little thing in my cigar group. I have a taste of King 18 year first person to office gets it. All right, we'll see if they show up. And sorry, I apologize in adv in advance if it bothered you that I was on my phone while well, I should be paying attention to you, but you know, I guess uh, I'm just a prick today. But uh, at any rate, this is not the label of King of Kentucky. This is the label of King of Kentucky 18-year-old. If you happen to see this in the wild, if you can get this for the SRP of, what is that SRP again? $350. Is it worth it? Yes. If you cannot get it, which I can't get it, most people aren't going to be able to get it, this is probably going to be special backdoor deals at liquor store kind of bottle. Uh, an equivalent to this, the closest equivalent to this, would probably would be keeping it in the Brown Foreman family. And it's quite a few degrees uh, different. But that molasses note that you hear me talking about and that cherry, this kind of like cherry note, that is a, those are quintessential kind of hallmark uh, notes uh, for me in Old Forester 1920. So 
and I think someone's at the door already. That was fast. That was fast. So I gotta pour this for a friend. Thank you for tuning in. If you wouldn't be, if you'd be so kind, click that like button, hit subscribe. Hold on. Recording, oh, but, but here you go. Your space is so long. Yeah, here you go. There you go. Oh, Cheers. Cheers, dude. Yeah, get, get get you in, get you in view. Hello. <laughs> Cheers. See you, bud. Enjoy. But like I say, click subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in. And if you would like to be on my random uh, friend list to come by and get uh, bottles that you'll never be able to taste, I can't buy. Um, put in the comment section, you know, we're looking for friends, right? In the cigar club and he's my dentist as well. So everything's better with friends, better with friends, life. Cheers. Y'all be safe. I got to plus stop. Boom.